hey guys so uh, welcome back so today uh, i have one exciting and one of the challenge in future that uh, i faced uh, this past week so today i am going to talk about this uh, image comparison uh, in node js uh, yeah we we are dealing with this uh, different sorts of problem in node js so today we will be comparing basically we will be comparing two images and uh, this feature is uh, was used on the is being used and uh, is used uh, on the features like fp chat uh, for, that that means if you are not aware of fp that means uh, proof of profile something like uh, image comparison from different social media and what and then uh picture that is provided uh, from the website so let's get started uh, <clears throat> so for the image comparison i am using this uh, online image uh, and then uh, for, uh, and i am using these three packages one is jimp another in a, another one is png js and another one is pixel match and pixel match is uh, really Uh, if you see here its uh, size is only 2.7 uh, kb and uh, yeah it's pretty fast uh, basically uh, uh, as far as i know from their implementation they used to do some kind of snaps or testing and uh, later converted to small packages for this image comparison okay uh, and let's and uh, let's understand the um, uh, logic code flow so this compare image is used for comparing two images and you can pass uh, image directory as well as uh, image url uh, if you pass image url then you have to convert it into buffer uh, if it is uh, kind of local image then uh, you can pass uh, you, you can directly read from uh, this uh, file reader okay and then uh, uh, for first thing it to uh, in case of url is uh, we have to generate this buffer this url to buffer generates this uh, buffer from the url basically i have used this jimp and jimp is used for uh, comparing um, generating the buffers and we will compare the pixels of this uh, buffer later so uh, it is reading this uh, url and then another thing is uh, for bringing both the images in common ground for example image can have different size uh, different aspect ratio uh, so in that case uh, we have to bring them in the common ground so the most uh, feasible and uh, the first approach is to resize them to similar size so that it will be easier to compare because both will be in the common ground Uh, you can you can put any size but uh, this was kind of uh, medium and a better size image so i have used 400 by 400 uh, size and then we can get the buffer of this image with this method and uh, uh, and uh, and it is expecting uh, this image buffer in png format and that's all and uh, Uh, you you can just uh, go through this jim documentation and uh, yeah uh, you can you can explore uh, understand more better from this package and its documentation and uh, yeah and another thing is uh, this png package this package and uh, png js package it's used uh, png js okay I hear it is. Uh, my internet is quite slow. Oh, sorry. I have to do with internet. Let me connect it. Okay, this is PNG JS and PNG JS is a simple PNG encoder decoder. Basically, we uh, we are we will be decoding this uh, PNG JS in uh, PNG format images, and then yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah this image one in image two is just uh, reading this buffer for value and then uh, this uh, dstock uh, in order to um, compare this 
pixel match uh, needs this width and height uh, um, for comparison and compatibility difference calculation so we will abstract that from the image one um, both the image are resized so we can, we can take um, from any anyone but uh, I have taken from the image one and then you can put any threshold here how much you want to put and then you have to supply this image data uh, image one and image two data and the difference difference is basically initiated with this image and height and and, uh, and uh, th this is just a calculation scripts calculation formula uh, in percentage uh, i am to just calculate in, in percentage so that was it and then after calculating differences and compatibility percentage uh, the tax will be completed so let's test a few of the images uh, so um, i have used this this images okay images from their um, their example so first one is this this image uh, for a dot png and uh, second one is 4b.png and i have this uh, i have already placed them there and uh, let me run node in next yes and it started comparing two image just a console log and then if you see here you can see the compatibility difference to be 96 percent and uh, yeah uh, this is uh, compatible and if if the percentage i have uh, basically used the threshold to 90 percent what you can you can use anything uh, that is acceptable to your uh, situation or your problem uh, i have used 90 percent uh, and if uh, if the compatibility is more than 90 percent then i have used the both the images are same image or they are similar and let me test with this another image mm -hmm. i think i can test with this let me copy this image sorry copy this image address and then place uh, here and let me run it since they are different images and their com compatibility should be less than something like uh, yeah 65 so it's it's around 60 percent maybe the size is same and color and background are same but uh, the objects are quite different right uh, if you see here yeah size is almost same and background color also there there are some color uh, some similarities but uh, yeah we can we can ignore um, less than 90 percent basically if, if the if they match uh, their compatibility 90 percent then we can uh, we can compare them now we can consider them as uh, similar else uh, we can just in, you know uh, we, we can't uh, uh, be 100% sure if they are same image or not so that's all this is how we compare two images uh, super fast uh, and then uh, yeah uh, we can easily easily compare two images in node.js yes, so we don't have to use anything uh, any dependency of the other libraries like c++ uh, there, there are some some packages like ff mpeg and other other package you could be able to find those packages and they have a background dependency to python and c++ so uh, these uh, simply uh, doesn't depend on them maybe internally somehow zinc may be dependent on that but uh, this png pixel match is not dependent so it's just quite quite fast actually you can run that on browser as well if you go through the documentation i think uh, yeah, we can we can run in browser as well yeah yeah it, it, it is supported on both the browser uh yeah and then node.js yes, and browsers it is supported on both the environment and another thing is if you if you have any problem problem uh, implementing them you can just uh, uh, drop a comment or uh, we, we can connect and discuss it uh, other than that uh, i'll upload these uh, scripts on gist and a links to the description also i'll add description to packages and yeah i think that will be helpful to you uh, and if you have any problem let me know uh, until next time bye bye